Hi, this is Janet Skates and welcome to my YouTube channel. This process video is a piece that I recently completed uh, using drips of high flow paint for the background and it ended up being just a beautiful range of color and texture on a 36 by 36 uh, by one and a half inch deep canvas. So I actually sat with this piece for a couple of weeks deciding if I wanted to go ahead and add um, some circles and, and create these, these little windows in the piece or, or just leave it as it was. And I decided to, to go ahead and do the circles. So this is a sped up process video of me adding the paint and it actually took an hour and I think the video now is is sped up quite a bit so that you you just get a sense of how how I did it but don't have to sit there for the whole process so at the end I'll give a few more details and you can see the completed piece at the end of the video so if you like these process videos please give me a thumbs up and let me know and if you have questions or ideas for other videos you'd like to see, leave those in the comments or you can drop me an email through my website or you can uh, direct message me on Instagram or Facebook. I'd love to hear from you and hear what you think about them. I hope you have a great day. Bye now.
So I've shown the video of how I defined the circles within this uh, canvas piece here with the, with the white paint. And for those of you that are interested in the process, I was gonna share a couple of, of things that I did on this particular piece. I do circle pieces often, so they're always different. I don't, I don't have a, a method that I follow every time. It just depends on what the background is and kind of you know, where I'm going with it. So I don't always have a plan. But something that might help you, when, I, uh, when I'm planning out, like I did on this canvas, I drew the circles in, and so that way I could adjust them and move them to get the, the balance and the feel that I wanted on the piece. And I love this one because it will go this way or I can completely um, invert it and it, it goes the other way as well. So I'm just gonna end up seeing how that works when I get done with it, uh, what I like the best. But I use uh, Caran d'Ache, if you're familiar with Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2 crayons. These are Neo Color 2. There is a one, this is two. Um, but these are, are fabulous and they're water soluble crayons. And so I use them a lot of times to draw in uh, figures or shapes or define areas in a canvas that I want. I also use them on paper and other things too. But in particular here, I use them to draw these circles in. And now um, I don't know if I'm gonna come back in and define these more or not, but I can, now that the white paint is dry, I can come in with a Huggies Wipey, which you know are my favorite, Huggies Wipeys. And I can come in now and just wipe the, the lines off. So they are completely water soluble and they clean right off. So you can see the difference here. I think you can. Yeah, you can see the difference here between where I have the dark marks, you know, and where I use those. And it'll wipe right off of the white paint as well. Um, so you just have to make sure you turn your wipey over and keep it clean but you can scrub them right off. And if you want to leave them, of course you can do that too. But if you're just wanting to use, you know, it's kind of like chalk, it's kind of like using chalk. And so that's what I've done here. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean the rest of these off. And then after that, I will decide if I want to define these with paint pens or paint or not at all. Um, I'll just, I'll take a look at it when I get this part done and kind of determine my next, my next step. Uh, it always depends on the background as far as how much I want to get into definition after that. And um, on this particular piece, I used a, um, I used a, a titanium white, but I used a, uh, let's see, an abstract titanium white instead of a golden heavy body titanium white because I wanted a little transparency in there. And by using the golden, a lot of times that will be completely opaque. But I wanted some transparency here and there that you can see kind of what was happening behind, behind the scenes here. Um, if you don't want that, of course, you can come in and layer over it again with the white or you can use a heavier body white um, and sometimes I've used a zinc white so that I get really transparent, especially if I'm using like a tissue paper or a collage. So those are just a few different ideas that you might want to try if you're doing a similar piece on paper or on canvas. Um, I hope you, that you had fun with this. This is awesome. And um, I had a great time doing a video. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Janet Skates Art. You can follow me on Facebook at the same name. And you can follow me here on YouTube as well. And if you have any ideas for videos you'd like to see, drop me a line and let me know that too. So have a great day.